Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to week three update on the puppies. Um, Friday got a little busy, couldn't upload the video. Well, actually, couldn't even do a video because we didn't shoot it. We're shooting a video today, so happy Sunday. Hope everybody's enjoying their weekend. Um, the puppies are now three weeks old. They're up. They're playing. Um, we got them on some soft food today. Chris started getting them some soft food. He said they did really well. Um, they took the food really well, so that's obviously good news. So as you can see, they're up and moving now. They're starting to like play with each other a little bit more. I and mean, they're just a little bit more alive, you know? Like it's, the two weeks they were still kind of like, eh, they didn't really want to move. They were still trying to get their feet under each other, but now they're looking great. You can see, look at that. They're, they're trying to play fight and everything. So to me, it's like one of my, one of my favorite stages right here is whenever they start um, starting to learn how to play. And the annoying part is that they start crying more. So that's, <laughs> that's the only annoying part. But let's go ahead and get this update. I'm gonna show you the the puppies. We do have one sold, so we're gonna go through all that. Um, like I said, we do we are taking deposits as of now for these puppies. So if you're interested, shoot me a message at 229-296-4058. Están interesados en una perrita o en el perrito? Manda mensaje al 229-296-4058. But all right, I'm gonna start with the first hembra. Let's start with female number one. As you can see, female number one is the one right here with a little comma apostrophe looking tail and she is looking great female number one right here you can see those healthy lungs look at she got a nice big head just looking good really being a little escandalosa being a little crybaby but you can see they're still staying short you can see those that bone and muscle on these little arms big head no muzzle and pretty much no tail to the little comma looking nub right there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's gonna get smaller as she gets older. But the puppies are doing great. So that's female number one. Put it down so you can see her. Just kind of move. Are you gonna go ahead and get female number two, Chris? That's not female number two. <laughs> that's that's a little that's a little one. All right, this is female number two right here. Look at that man. I don't know why he's been. Look at that, that little ear trying trying to come up. Look at that, eh, trying. <laughs> but their ears will pop up in a few in a few weeks. Um, but female number two is also looking great. Um, staying healthy, chunky. Look at that belly. I mean, they're they're just looking good. We're really happy. I keep zooming in with the camera. I'm I'm, I'm about to quit the video. <laughs> Look at that short little muzzle. Feel on female number two. Looking great. Nice headpiece. Nice muzzle. Um, again, again with the little short arms muscle bone on there structurally just looking great we're really happy with them um canela's doing great mom's doing great and as you can see puppies are doing great and they have started on soft food so you know we're hoping to avoid that little lanky stage and just keep them really chunky and healthy and just really just really happy with how they're turning out um just really pretty puppies at the end of the day so if you're interested in adding a member to your family or just adding on to your camp there's your opportunity and I believe the prices that we're managing aren't crazy prices. I think they're pretty normal prices for, for a French Bulldog. Again, we just want to produce pretty and good structured um, puppies at the end of the day. If you want to get female number three. That's not female number three. <laughs> there you go. So this is female number three, guys. This female has been sold. She's the loudest one of the entire litter. But um, shout out to Antoine from Carolina. He has he already put the deposit down on this female. So she will be heading over to the Carolinas when she's ready. And she is still looking great. She still has a big head. And you can see she's got really healthy lungs. <laughs> but all right, uh, we'll put her down so she stops crying. But this female is sold. Looking great, looking awesome. Um, really healthy as well. He definitely wants to add some structure to his program, which I think is very important. So really happy for him for sure. I know she's going to be going to a great home. Uh, female number four, the last female. No, yeah, you had it. There you go. How do you not know your own puppies, Chris? My bad. <laughs> but this is female number four. This is a little one. Um, what did we call her? What, we, what have you been calling her? Tiny. Tiny. La tiny. This is la tiny right here. Um, the female that I said, if she doesn't get sold, I'm keeping her. We're keeping her, hands down. But if you're interested in her, 
uh, go ahead and hit me up. She is a little bit lighter than all the other females. Again, she still has the sable color, but she's a little bit lighter. Structurally, she's just a little bit, she's just smaller um, than her siblings. And I just really like her headpiece. I really like the way she's built. I think she could add some really good structure onto like um, the future, like the next generation of puppies, especially your Frenchie puppies here in Flores Bullies. So I really, really, really like her. But if someone buys her, then you know I, I definitely know they'll be having a great female. And if somebody buys her, I probably end up buying like getting a puppy off of her, depending who they breed to um, in the future, because she's just got like that structure and look that I like personally. So she's definitely looking great, but she is available. So if you guys are interested, stay interesados. You already know, hit me up on social media or my number at 229-296-4058. And this is the tiny female number four at three weeks old. And the little male is in here trying to hide, doesn't like to be on camera. But he is looking great. Um, he keeps getting lighter. And I have confirmed um, Canela's dad, Nash, is this color. And Canela's sisters also this color who's championed and their whole bloodline is like you know they got championed in like their bloodline their imported bloodline so that's another reason why we went with canela to begin with because it was a bloodline that's not really common here and you want to have something a little bit different so we definitely went for structure not color um, when it came to canela but as you can see this little boy is looking great i'm um, looking beautiful i like the light color i like his little black mask right here i like the ears staying a little bit black and he still has that black stripe going down um his back but he is looking good getting big fat staying chunky staying healthy i mean nothing really you know to complain about this litter and i mean this being the only male he he is looking awesome um go to my instagram and check it out um the picture of his grandpa so you can kind of see um kind of like what he's going to end up looking like but structurally wise, they are fantastic um, Frenchies. They can breathe fine, they can run fine, they can you know play for a good amount of time without you know getting tired or, or like not being able to breathe like some of these um, shorter muzzle exotic Frenchies, which I love as well. But we just wanted to breed um, like a little healthier Frenchie because I know most people want to have the Frenchies outside playing and everything, and not, not have to worry about if they're gonna have like a like problems breathing so that's kind of what we went for on this litter Hubba Bubba's built really well um, just as Canela so that's why I knew they were going to come out really nice on the structure wise and health wise so we're really happy with the puppies uh, like I said can't really like can't really complain about the litter I mean they're they're great they're, fan they're looking fantastic so um, if you guys are interested make sure to hit me up 229-296-4058 it's week three on the puppy update we're taking deposits now the puppies will leave once they are eight weeks old. So here you go. I'll leave you with a little close up of these beautiful Frenchie puppies. <laughs>